Hello again, this is Joe here and I want to welcome you back to another lesson of Windows 7 for beginners. Today we're going to be looking at a very important yet vastly underused part of Microsoft Windows, the Backup and Restore Center. Computers have become the most important tools in our lives. They help us work, play, and share our lives with others. As such, it is more critical than ever to make sure that the data we keep is safe and protected from hardware failure. A good hard drive can last you for years, but they are the most volatile piece of the computer. The hard drive houses all of your data, programs, and Windows itself. Most hard drives these days are still built on the same premise as always. Magnetic platters spinning at high speeds like a giant record player. Damaging the hard drive can mean losing some or all of your data and can ruin you professionally or personally. Photos and videos of family and friends can be gone in an instant. All your important tax information can just disappear. Back up your data, folks. You really can't afford not to. Luckily for you, Windows 7 makes backing up and restoring your data incredibly easy. To start a backup, you'll first need to find a place to store your backup data. Obviously, you don't want it on the same drive that you're backing up. That doesn't do us any good if the drive goes bad. I suggest an external drive that connects to your computer via USB. You can also opt for a second internal drive for your backups, but that could still leave you vulnerable if a power surge or other hardware problem fries all the internal parts of your PC. For this tutorial, I'm going to use an external hard drive, a one terabyte drive made just for this sort of thing. If I open my computer window, you'll see the machine starts to recognize my drive as I plug it in. If this is the first time you're attaching the drive to your PC, Windows may go through the short process of installing it before it pops up here. Now that we have a drive, labeled F here, we can start the backup. On your Start menu, navigate to Backup and Restore Center through the Control Panel. Clicking Backup Your Computer will take you to the Backup and Restore Center. Click Set Up Your Backup and let's get ready to roll. Now you can see here we're selecting which drive we'd like to back up to. F is my backup drive. Perfect. Click Next, and you can let Windows choose what files will be backed up, or you can choose on your own. I like to choose on my own just so I can see which files are and are not being backed up. Now for this example, we're going to do the whole shebang. Include a system image, which means we can actually restore Windows with these files we recover. Clicking Next gives us a review of all the files and folders that we're copying. And the schedule is manually set to Sunday at 7 p.m. Now you can click on this button and change it anytime you feel like it. If you want to run it late at night when no one's on the PC, you can. If you'd like to do it earlier in the day so you can see it run, that's great. Just hit Save Settings and get ready to run your backup. Now when you set the schedule, Windows will run once and create a full backup before running its schedule. This is nice because it makes it easier to save your files later and much faster. The real backup will obviously take longer than this, but I've got the finished backup fresh from the oven. And that's all there is to it. You now have a backup created of your entire system that you can use to recover your data in the event of an emergency. Depending on how often you edit the files and programs on your computer, you can set any schedule you like. For the average person, one backup per week is sufficient. Once your backup is complete, you can disconnect the external drive from your computer if you'd like. Congratulations, you've just backed up your computer. Join me next time when I show you how to restore from a backup.